Summoning stones. Don't buy. Don't buy. Bad purchase. Bad purchase. <laughs> LD packs right here. If you're not an aspiring SWC player, skip these. What I have learned from this video is, holy crap, there are way too many freaking packs in this game. <laughs> Hey, it is Zenial Gamer coming at you guys with a different kind of video today. Today we're going to be talking about what you should spend your money on in Summoner's War. So I know, half of you, if you haven't left the video yet, half of you are probably going to roast me in comments. Guys, I'm not free to play. Uh, I've never, um, you know, I've talked about this in other videos. So before we jump into that, first things first. Obviously, never spend money on this game that you can't afford. Myself, personally, the way I look at it, if I were to go to the re go to a restaurant with a buddy of mine, it's probably going to be like minimum fifty dollars a person. If I go to the movies, it's like forty bucks. If I go to a bar, it's a hundred bucks. Whatever. All of those things are money that I pay for entertainment for a night. So if I'm going to spend some money on Summoner's War, I put it in that context. As in, I don't want to spend ten times as much on Summoner's War as I would for any other thing I do, but I'm comfortable spending on Summoner's War what I spend on other hobbies. So, with that said, that means that we all have different budgets. We can all afford to spend a different amount on the game, or we're all comfortable, even if you can afford it or not, we're all only comfortable spending a different amount on the game. So for this video, I wanted to answer one of the most common questions I get asked on stream, which is, which packs provide the best value and why? So, there may be some packs out there that might give you more in straight, direct, like, I want to say material, it's digital, I guess, more digital possessions per dollar, but those digital possessions don't actually help you in progression <coughs> packs. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we're going to be focused on the packs that help you most for progression while also providing the best value. Now, last thing I want to say before we jump into this, today's video is sponsored. I know you guys saw the tagline at the start. I'll make this part quick. Today's video is sponsored by Huawei App Gallery, and guys, I swear to you, <laughs> I know it ties in, it ties in perfectly, but the irony of it is I actually had the idea to do this video before we decided to make this a sponsored video. It actually became a sponsored video because of the new packs that just dropped yesterday, and we're going to talk about those soon. But just throwing it out there, guys, if you visit the URLs that I just put up on screen, you can save up to 59% on packs. Legit, guys, no lie, up to 59% on packs. And the way it works is that if you were to sign up for the Huawei App Gallery and then register as a viewer of my channel, very important part, you have to register as a viewer of my channel, you're going to get a welcome coupon and then you're going to get access to special coupons every day that can save you up to 24 euros on a 100 euro pack. So that's 24% right there. On top of that, you earn 20% cashback points for every purchase you make. So that would be another 20% on top of your 24% is 44%. The cashback points, the way they work is basically if you buy a 100 euro pack today, the next pack you buy, you get 20 euros off straight up point for point, point for dollar you would get 20% off on your next purchase and it continues like that forever. And then after all of that, if you do achieve VIP status in the app gallery, you save an additional 15%, bringing the total savings up to 59%. So guys, it's legit, I promise you, it's an insane deal. It is promoted content, but the reason I chose to promote this content is because I thought that it could help all of you, the viewers who have helped support the channel. Now, with that said, there is more information in the video description. Obviously, these URLs are there, and then on top of these URLs, you'll also be able to find a link to another video that shows you how to set everything up and how to actually take advantage of this amazing promotion. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna jump straight over to the absolute best value pack in the game. I thought about doing this as like a top 10 to one or something, but Guys, the bottom line is Daily Pack 1. This pack right here, if you spend anything on this game at all whatsoever, this is the pack that you should constantly be buying. And basically all that matters is that it saves you 5% every single time you recharge energy. So guys, if you play the game for progression, that means you gotta be farming. You gotta be farming as much as you can, and so if you can farm 5% more, you're getting more mileage for your value, more mileage for your crystals, making this the best pack in the game. 
Now, the second best pack in the game, for those of you who have not yet maxed your arena towers, is the daily pack two. The value in this, like from a what comes in it perspective, absolutely insane. Every single fight you do, you get 20% more mana, you get 20% more EXP, and then on top of that, you also get an additional glory point for every arena fight that you do. So if you spend anything at all on this game, Daily Pack 1, if you have not maxed your Arena Towers yet, Daily Pack 2 is your next choice. Even if you have maxed your Arena Towers, Daily Pack 2 is usually still a really good value. So let's take a look at the special event one-time only packs that we have right now. And you guys can see I'm on my alt because I wanted to show you all of the packs that are available in the game right now. So we have these Global Service 7 year packs. Well, first and foremost, the only thing in this game that is not total RNG is a Devil Mon. If we look at these packs right here, well, I guess technically a Forbidden Evolution Scrolls <laughs> and double EXP is not RNG. But if we look at the bigger packs over here, like no guarantees on scrolls whatsoever. If you're playing this game on a budget, you really don't want to be buying any kind of scrolls that don't give you some sort of guarantee. So obviously Ancient Transcendent Scrolls, uh, the Transcendent Scrolls, honestly, anything that gives you a guaranteed Nat 5, uh, tremendous, tremendous value because the RNG is pulled out of it. These legendary all attribute scrolls, pure RNG. And terrible RNG, by the way, guys. Uh, people were kind of freaked out about them, but I just want to show you guys real quick over here. Let's take a look at the summoning portal. And we come down here and we click on rates. And you guys can see the rate right at the top. It's a 0.4% chance to get an LD5. However, if we scroll down here a little bit further and we look at the light and dark scroll, we'll see you got a 0.35% chance from a normal LD scroll. It's just not worth it. So when we look at the packs that we've got over here and we look at these special packs right now, the legendary all attribute scroll, that's a bonus. That's a kicker. That's fun. It's probably going to be disappointing and it's not why you buy a pack. Why you buy the packs are for progression. When you spend money on this game, it's for progression. Or it should be. Not always is. But it should be. So if that's the goal, then Devilmon is where you want to be. So this pack, this, uh, this pack right here with the four Devilmon is the best pack, in my opinion, out of all the ones out here. Now, 12 reappraisal stones, that's got really good value. I value these 12 reaps a lot more than I value these six runes because if you're doing your farming, uh, you're going to drop six legendary runes over the course of a couple of days, and you know that you probably sell most of them anyway. Well, that's the same thing when you buy a rune pack. Most of them you're going to wind up selling, or you'll roll them out and be disappointed, and they'll sit there forever, and then you'll need to go buy a re pack <laughs> in order to use those runes. But, for Devilmon, that's where it's at. So this is the best value pack out of the seven-year limited packs. This one right here, one Devilmon, 30 bucks actually a really good deal not not a great deal but if you keep in mind that an ld scroll sells for 30 dollars in every other pack 20 mystical scrolls is worth about a thousand crystals this one also is a really good deal this one we can kind of apply that same logic and we can say three ld scrolls plus a bunch of mysticals plus 12 reaps it is actually a good deal but from a progression perspective i actually like the packs with the devilmon more so me personally, my first choice is this pack for 100 My second choice is the $30 pack. My third choice is this pack. And there's a reason I hid this one off the screen, guys. If you're brand new, early game, Forbidden Net Evo Scroll is pretty cool, actually. But if you've been playing the game for a while and you've got a ton of six stars, then this is not the pack for you. So what else do we have for our special monthly packs? Well, we've got this global seven-year pack. This $50 pack has two LD scrolls, that's $60 worth of packs. Also has five re-ups, that's another $30 pack. Has legendary scrolls, so it's just giving you a ton of value. And the fact that you can get the re-ups in here, because re-ups do have a lot of progression value, makes this pack a really, really good value. Now the $20 pack, if you think about it in perspective, one Devilmon on the monthly pack is $20. There's a $20 pack with one Devilmon. So what this pack is really giving you in terms of bonus is just 20 attribute scrolls. So I know a second ago I said I always prefer the pack with the Devilmon, but the pack's gotta have some extra value as well. And at this point I feel like you're buying this pack mostly because you're getting extra summons. Not a bad thing. Monsters are very important. Not a bad thing at all. But your focus from a progression perspective should be uh, Devilmon and then Reaps and then general resources to farm. That's ultimately at the end of the day, monsters matter a lot, but your ability to farm matters more. 
So this pack right here, you get good crystal value, you do get a Devilmon, but this pack right here tends to give you a little bit more turn towards overall progression. $5 pack, I mean, one legendary rune, odds are you're probably not going to get anything all that, that exciting. Uh, if you are really carefully evaluating whether or not a pack's worth it, I'd probably skip this one to be honest. Okay, then we get to the 7th Anniversary Special Rune Pack. Guys, I thought this was going to be a quick video. There's a lot of packs out. There's just like a lot of packs out right now. But yeah, anyway, so we get to the 7th Anniversary Special Rune Pack. Oh man, I have such mixed emotions on this one, guys. I have such mixed emotions. So, the ability to select your rune slot... Oh, I mean, that is so powerful to say, hey, I need a Vio slot 6 and I want it to be HP percent. You can fill a gigantic void in your rune inventory. That is super powerful. Definitely the best rune pack that we've ever had because there's no chance of you getting flats that just insta sell. But there's still no guarantee that you're going to have like an innate. There's no guarantee it's going to be a good re-up target or that it'll have good substats. And really you are just buying one rune for $50. One rune and three re-ups to be clear. Because these five hero runes are usually going to be garbage. Overall, I just feel like there's better value in the game. And I, you're going to hear this from me as we go through the packs. You're going to hear this from me over and over. I don't believe that rune packs have a a value. I really don't. I think that if you're playing the game regularly and you're farming regularly, you will always get better runes from dungeons and from simple gameplay than you will from a pack. Now, we also do have a couple of packs that pop up once a month, but they pop up every month. One of them is the Devilmon pack. It looks like that one's not up right now. It's a $50 pack with three Devilmon. That is one that I highly recommend if you have monsters that need to be skilled up. Obviously, if you're just starting out, you don't have nat fives that need to be skilled up then you don't have to like buy every devilmon and let them sit in store now we also have this hundred dollar legendary package this one is a really good value typically speaking it's one of the best values for all of the ordinary packs it's never going to give quite as much value as those special packs that come out but it has more value than most ordinary packs so to me the legendary package is probably something that if you have a larger budget for summoners war like a few hundred dollars a month or more this is a pack that you would then consider but if you're on a tighter budget this is a pack you'll usually skip because of like the packs that we just looked at always offer better value and usually there's going to be at least one or two rounds of special packs every month so that's where your main budget needs to go okay now we're going to get into the monthly efficient packs and Generally speaking, these packs offer some of the best overall value in the game, but again, coming down to what your budget is, if you're on a tighter monthly budget, most of your budget's probably going to be spent on what we've already talked about, the daily packs and those special unique packs. If you have a slightly larger budget, then the best value out of this batch is actually special pack one, and I know you're going to be shocked, it's because it has a Devilmon. <laughs> But it also has an LD scroll, five reap stones, pretty decent crystal value. Special pack two is actually slightly less overall value. It, again, it gives you more stuff. It's less progression value because it's a lot more RNG type stuff. You get three runes, you get three immemorials, all legend, which is really awesome when you get something good from them. But as often as not, or more often than not, you're going to wind up getting like flat runes or flat grinds or something like that that's not all that exciting and obviously you're just going to get three three stars from the LD scrolls. So this one is good value on terms of what you get overall but not so great for progression. $20 Devilmon pack, I've beaten the dead horse on Devilmon already. This pack is something that you probably want to buy every single month if you have Devilmon deficit. Summoner's pack, I would say for most people this is a straight up skip. Um, it is, again, really good value. All the monthly packs are really good value, but ultimately there's nothing guaranteed in this pack. It's a low crystal rate, so you're going to get less farming out of it, which means less for your progression. It's just straight up RNG on the summons. It's a gamble and it's one that I'd recommend most people skip unless you just buy like everything. Legendary Attribute Package. I recommend everybody skip this. I don't care if you're a freaking whale. This is like probably the single worst pack in the overall shop. Yes, you can get your attribute. Unfortunately, there's 23 other nat fives of that same attribute. There's no guarantee even if you hit that 200 to one on the attribute scroll or the 14 to one on the legend scroll and you pop a nap five, you're probably going to get a dupe or you're going to get the one that you don't want. Okay. The next couple of packs coming over here, awakening pack, just don't buy it. Don't buy it. I'm not going to spend time talking about it. Don't buy it. Terrible value. Don't buy it. The end. 
Uh, now, the Rainbow Mon Pack, if you're an early game player and you're just needing a boost on progression, it's not a bad pack. I mean, you're getting accurate crystal value, so it's 20 bucks for 500 crystals, normally a $30 pack is 750, so the crystal value is there, but I mean, there's no energy, there's nothing to like really boost progression, it's just gonna give you a six star and not even an entire six star. Uh, so I would only buy this if you're early game in need of progression. And then um, the Rune Removal Pack, I think that's pretty straightforward. If you need an FRR day, consider buying it. Uh, obviously, we get one free FRR a month. Overall value on the pack is fine, but it's not something that you need to chase. And then, of course, Mystical Guild Scrolls, guys. I highly recommend if you like your guild, take care of your guild. Now, I'm just playing, guys. Um, I have. I've bought the Mystical Guild Scroll Pack a few times. I think it's an awesome thing that we can do for our guilds, but certainly this is something that not everybody needs to do if it doesn't fit in your budget remember you're getting basically nothing you're like you're getting nothing from this pack you're gonna get one mystical scroll if you open your own scroll in the guild and you get 100 crystals for 20 dollars uh this is truly just straight up a gift to your guild to say hey guys um i appreciate you all right guys so a lot of packs a lot of packs a lot more packs than i realized this is a long video i'm gonna move through this last section the suggested monthly packs a lot faster we're going to talk about them in broader strokes ld packs right here if you're not an aspiring swc player skip these uh they're they're really some of the worst value in the game for anybody except somebody who's truly trying to progress like ultra far in rta in memorial packs this five dollar pack right here probably the best single value in the game for players all the way through end game you get 18 immemorials, about half of them are trash, which is the normal rates, which means that for $15, you're gonna get about nine or 10 usable immemorials. Uh, probably half of those are gonna be gems, and you can farm hours and hours and hours to get one single violent gem, which is what most of us always need. So for the $15 worth of packs, you have a chance to get several gems that can be used on violent runes. And yeah, most of them may be blue, but a blue gem that, you know, it's a five to nine range. If it max rolls nine, that's as good as a hero gem that mid rolls. The $100 Immemorial Pack, this is a luxury pack, kind of. Uh, by this point, you're really deep into your budget. So if you've got a big budget, this is the best value of all the remaining packs in the suggested section. But by this point, we're assuming that you've bought the Legendary Pack, you've bought the Special Packs, you've bought the Special Monthly Packs. So you're going to have to have a really big budget before you crack into this one. The Immemorial Pack 1 and Immemorial Pack 2, do not buy them. The value on them is absolutely terrible. So if you look at the, the Pack 3 right here, we're getting 15 Immemorials plus 3 Legend. If you look at the Pack 2, we're only getting 6 Immemorials. It costs $60 compared to 100. 60% as much money but you're only getting six immemorials of the hero or above compared to 15. The value is just terrible. Same thing on the pack three, the value is terrible. Rune packs, I talked about at length before. I'm just gonna tell you straight up, don't buy these. If you're not, um, if you're not early game or early mid game, don't buy these. There is only one exception. This $5 pack can be really, really useful if you are building your first Tricaru team or your first BJR5 team. And the reason for that is because you will spend hours to farm for determination runes for Tricaru. It is so slow to farm the rifts. And ultimately you can get away with some five star runes on a Tricaru build, or you get really lucky and get like a slot two, four, six defense. So for $15, you get to just kind of like free roll for a chance to pick up. All you need is like one or two good determination set runes out of your 15 runes that you're getting. And that could help you build your Tricaru days or weeks earlier. And then along the BJR5 lines, you do need some halfway kind of garbagey but usable fight runes on the Lauren and the Jansen. Uh, so same deal, you can buy the packs here and try and get runes for the Lauren and the Jansen. For the Degora and the Leader skill, you just craft low on those, and I've got a, a BJR5 video on that. I'll throw an info card on screen for building BJR5. But for the Lauren and the Jansen, this could be a good pack. Rest of these do not buy. Summoning Stones, don't buy. Don't buy. Bad purchase. Bad purchase. <laughs> Guys, you do not want to buy these packs. Um, again, it's everything I talked about before as far as just, just straight up RNG. And let's move on to Mana Stones, where I am gonna tell you that the value on these is actually pretty legit. It's not a pack I recommend for most people because mana farming is super crazy easy with B12s out. But if you're early game or early mid game and you do not have Tricaru built yet, then you might be struggling for mana. 
And if you're struggling for mana, then this is not the worst pack to consider. I mean, 10 million mana, and you're still getting full crystal value, and you're also getting a little bit of energy. The value is there in the pack. It's just that most of us don't benefit enough from a progression perspective. Guys, that's it. What I have learned from this video is, holy crap, there are way too many freaking packs in this game. <laughs> I, I legit thought this was gonna be like a six minute video or something when I started it. There are so many packs in this game. But, <laughs> There you have it guys, you got my recommendations. Again, for most people on a normal budget, I would say do the $5 daily pack one, do the $5 immemorial packs. Uh, if you do all of that, it's 25 bucks a month before discounts, Huawei App Gallery, check the description. Uh, but no, I mean 25 bucks a month, I think that's pretty reasonable for a hobby and that gives you your constant daily pack one, a little bit of bonus crystals, lots of immemorials to help get you on your way towards like better violent runes. If you got a slightly larger budget, pick up the Transcendence or the Ancient Transcendence and then look at the special monthly scrolls. And if you have a more comfortable budget than that, that's where you start to look at the special packs and maybe some of those like bigger immemorial packs or the legendary pack, things like that. We did not talk about the re packs because they're not up right now, but the re packs are also some of the better value packs. Yeah, re are also RNG, but at least you're taking the RNG and putting it on a rune that you already own and know can be good, as opposed to a rune that may wind up getting sold. So I would slot the re packs in right after the legendary pack and before we get to the regular shop packs. So, generally speaking, whenever you're considering if you should buy a pack, I always just think about it as, how likely is this to help my progression? That's kind of what I'm looking for. and. That answer to that question is going to change as you progress further in the game. Where runes have more value earlier in the game, immemorials actually have more value towards the middle of the game, and reaps have more value towards the end of the game. Obviously, all of them can have some value at each stage, but as far as like which one is most valuable at each stage, that's where you go. So consider what your account needs, consider what you can afford, and then look at the packs through that lens. And on that note, guys, I appreciate you watching. Hope you found this video useful. And we'll see you next time. Hey, it is any Oh, no, wait, this is the outro. My bad. Hey guys, if you want to see more content, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notifications. It's your support that makes me want to create continuing content. I thank you guys for the support, as always, and we'll see you in the next video.